lot of people like to see kind of behind the scenes on what's going on. And as you can see right here, sacks are packed up. We literally staple them down, get them ready, and they come to your door like that. So what you saw earlier was, you know, me approving um, the ingredient profile for the manufacturer for the two new SKUs. We care to the degree of the color of the red to make sure the flavor is done properly on the bottle. Like it's two circles this big. John and I going back and forth on literally like the color way, like this is the tri-blend tri protein, our new protein. Like we were talking about this, this little thing right here, like on the new SKUs to make sure that obviously this one right here is easy. This is lemon, lemonade post-workout. But like to make sure our new flavor colorways are exactly how we want them. Um, and so there's a lot of that. Between that, creating the SKUs from a standpoint of like actual ingredients in the bottle with the manufacturing and their science team, or the SKUs from a standpoint of the t-shirts, like we got some more over here I'll show you. Like we're just going back and forth on what's the best way for people to represent the brand and just like to be unique. And what we kind of came to find out was all these different colorways, whether you're a Cleveland Cavs fan or a Raiders fan or a Yankees fan or whatever your colorway would be, your college team, you know, Warriors, Brooklyn, you can rep it how you want to rep it. Obviously, the the classic, you know, Max himself, Max Efforts, always the orange, which we're leading with. But what's unique, and I gotta give Johnny some some props on this, is that you can kind of rep Max Effort however you want with your colorways. And when we fill orders, you you could see people pick so many different colors. It, it's awesome. So it's been real. It's been real cool to watch grow. Jacob, I'm gonna ask you a question. He's on the hot seat. Always oh, bringing that old school activate radio stuff back. What is your favorite thing since you started at Max Effort to do? And what's your least favorite thing to do? I've least. tested them. All right. Probably my favorite is probably getting to know all the guys. Like just knowing like like you, Travis, Clay, John, Zach, everybody. Not knowing us from social media. Not knowing like, from social knowing. media. So being able to like work with you guys. Because like when you're like just like everybody that's watching, like you're watching from afar, but you don't realize just like how normal everybody is. So I think that's probably my least favorite. And then that's your most my, favorite. My most favorite. Least favorite. This least motherfucker. God. Is I, I didn't enjoy the customer service. Yeah. Like <laughs> why did I know that somehow? I, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't. Like, I, I don't wait, know. wait. I, I will clear it up before you get hate. He doesn't not enjoy actual customers I it's love, the operation I, I of customers the, yeah the oper like the operations i love interacting with the customers yeah. or anything like that i knew that about you that's why but, i clear that up like just I, I don't know there's something about it like yeah. the it was a lot more stressful well and i knew that about them that's why alex is the one that answers the customer service holler at me be nice to me <laughs> what's your what's your email uh alex at um, max upper max upper muscle. Muscle. Com. can't forget that so that and I knew I knew both those things, right? Yeah, I know I know Jacob. He's uh, he it's hard for him to hide it. <laughs> it's good. Next, Josh Moore, who bugged me for a year, <laughs> so I he did. could be over here. I did. Josh Moore, <laughs> yes, tell sir. me one thing. It doesn't have to be necessarily just max effort, but since you've been in the fold for what about six months? Yeah. What you? What's the one major takeaway that you've got from dealing with? us here with John and I with just me in general just you know anything like you kind of walked away from or if you ever walked away from this experience you'd be like man I grabbed that and that's something I'll keep in my business keep whatever yeah. is there any major um, thing you got for me the social media aspect like my social media I can media, see it in your gym but yeah, it looks much my, better my social media has stepped up a ton for like my business aside you know from learning from here um, that's a huge takeaway how to do yeah, it yeah I mean that was, that was definitely engage. definitely key yeah because I wasn't really using Instagram I was using mainly like Facebook and stuff but I started using Instagram and it's paid off some I mean I've picked up new people well and what you've got to see is because we don't do traditional marketing here it's right. only social media yeah. and content you watched because as you were helping pack orders and in the stock you're seeing it get increasingly busier so right. you know it works exactly it works. <laughs> so I just took that to mind it works for there too Well, because so. your gym's grown how many members since you've been here at least 30 know. right yeah probably close to 40 yeah in like six months which is epic yeah it's double what we had a year there's ago. 
got to be six gems in Newark. A bit. If that. Yeah, if more, you know, he's come, and he's an old school style of gym called Alpha Revolution. So he's grown it through content, through social media. And he wasn't like, he'll just tell you, he was just coming to learn and hang out. He's ro working into a uh, role, helping with business and biceps, helping with here and just kind of learning on the fly, which is awesome because he has a business right down the street. Yeah. About five minutes away. Yeah. So just goes to show. Works. It's awesome. Yeah. Josh Moore. He's learning. You better watch out, Newark Gems. <laughs> He's stealing your members. <laughs> Alex Weary. What's up? All right. So, Alex interned at Hendrick Motorsports. They did. He interned at Mississippi State Strength okay. Program. Oh. He's emailed me basically for probably damn near two years and just happened to email me the night before Black Friday as he was coming back to Ohio saying, Hey, if you need some help, yeah. let me know. And I was like, I need some help tomorrow. <laughs> hey, it worked out, man. But your relationship skills, that because he, I, I wouldn't say like, Josh used to snap the shit out of me, like, come to my gym. So that was his method, and it worked. Right? <laughs> Alex wasn't, because he's not as big on social media, but he would just stay in touch. And what I liked about his email would be like, here's what I'm doing. Here's where I'm at because he was moving around, so I absolutely, absolutely knew who he was because he was at Hendrix or he was at Mississippi State first. No, which one? Did I you was at Hendrix first. Hendrix first, Mississippi State. You went and saw ET. I you see. told me about seeing ET and telling him you knew yeah. me. So like his relationship that he created, literally through emailing, yep. was what I knew in confidence. I was like, yeah, this dude could definitely help. And then as I learned more about his background work ethic, farm, farming community, yep. all that Working kind of stuff. Like for seven years. Yeah, it was awesome. So, and the fact that he was literally on his own dime going out to those places to learn, which was, which was awesome. Um, Alex is a, is a similar story. Alex is just keep, Alex Costa over here just keeps like showing up at stuff. And so he showed up at a, He's asked me stuff. I know his brother, he's been around, he graduated high school. He's starting to be a trainer. And he was like, finally at the last business and biceps was like, how do I find um, mentors? What do I need to do? This is probably maybe the seventh or eighth time I'd ran into Alex where he's asked a good quality question or I've seen him on social media and I see him progressing and I was like, well, why don't you just start coming to the office next week? And he was like, all right, I'm in. You know? And so I was like, the, the, once again, it was just staying steady around and increasingly getting better every time I would notice it, which was awesome. Now, He's here donating his time to learn, but that's, I mean, that's what it is. So now he can take whatever he learns from here and he's seeing happen. And by the way, he's from this town and I won't name any names, but somebody told him there isn't a lot of money in fitness and because he just didn't know any better. And my answer to him was, who are you talking to, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> and so he can see it firsthand, not from the training standpoint, but from a product standpoint of how you create a brand in your, in his own town he's from and at how old? 21. Just turned 21. Yeah. That's right. Just turned 21. <laughs> so if you guys have learned anything by this like process, it's like just staying around. And lastly, we'll come back to this guy. He's got way too much, <laughs> way too much TV time today. But drive in an hour. How much was your drive to the gym? Uh, 55 minutes. Hour. You did 55 minutes to an hour for how long to old school? Well, eight months. And then when I started interning here every day, home, that was an hour and 20. Yeah. So he was getting to the gym, hour plus drive. Worked for free. This dude got a bachelor's degree from Ohio University. Told his parents he was going to not take the jobs that it was offered to him, that he was going to work for free for six months because he wanted to be part of this. At that point, it was mostly Activate Media. Obviously, now Max Effort. And now, because of that, we're extremely loyal. Jacob's still going to fuck stuff up because he's young. But I give him a little bit more leniency because of that. Right now, when I think he's at the level he needs to be at, and he's still fucking stuff up. That's a little different. But Jacob has learned on the fly and became a great leader because of that. Now I got to get him to be more vocal at times, but that's because he's young and he's still learning. But he earned that spot by doing those things. He wasn't guaranteed anything by coming to the gym, but he just kept. He was just around. He's just in the conversation. Do you guys see a running trend here? That's kind of what I want to get by. Like this office is because guys want to be here to be a part and learn. And I'm not even here all the time. John's not here all the time. But it's like seeing the behind the scenes stuff of what's going on at Max Effort is so special, man. Like it's it's epic. Um, I'm telling you, like as you're seeing the brand grow, like these are the guys that are here packing your orders, posting on social media, helping with content strategy, setting up business and biceps. Like 
we're the one, they're the ones getting it done and helping John and I and the rest of the team, Dustin, Zach, Travis, Clay, get this vision out to the world, and it's happening. You're watching it. So I'm glad you guys get to, glad you guys get to meet everybody today.